All right, what is up guys? So for this next work in progress, we're gonna be adding a few little details to the DJ. Now, as you may be able to tell by looking at it, he's looking a little bit different. That's because he's all sanded down and ready for a bath before painting. But like I mentioned in the first work in progress, I do wanna add a couple little details, especially something here on the shoulder where there's that kind of gap missing now from that. Honestly, it doesn't really bother me too much, but I do wanna add something there in this place. So other thing too is that someone actually brought this up in the comments and he was very clever to do so is that before we added these parts onto the backpack here, and let me show this to you. So someone was right to point out that just gluing this part just onto the backpack uh, will be enough if it just needs to hold onto this part, but it needs to hold onto this huge binder part. So it's gonna be like just the glue on that is not really enough. Like it's maybe okay, but it's gonna be real dodgy. It could very well still break off. That's a really small connection piece of just some glue holding on that. Uh, to be able to hold this up and you know, like the way you need to plug this on. This can be dangerous. So what I've done here is just drilled a couple little holes and we're just gonna put a couple uh, pins in that as well just to help that stay in place. So that was just one millimeter drill. So I've just got some one millimeter A-line here, just some aluminum rod. So just snip a couple of pieces off of there. Then we can just pop these into here. I am gonna Put some glue on there as well so i'm gonna go ahead and take the other piece i'm gonna take this apart anyway so you can see then that's going down through there into the part down there so that'll be a much better stronger connection now that these are in there as well i won't worry about this part breaking off suddenly so those are in there i'm gonna pop some glue down inside there then we can clip off the little bits poking out the top just using a bit of uh, super glue, CA glue here, any kind of super glue will do, or you could use something else. I mean, honestly, uh, if I was the patient type, which I'm not, but probably the better thing to do, or the, like the best thing to do, would just be take some epoxy putty and stuff it down into there. That would hold that real tightly, I guess, but I think super glue will probably be enough. But since it's kind of a tight squeeze in there, I'm just gonna use a toothpick to drop the tooth, drop the glue exactly where I need it down into that part there. There you go. Give that a little bit to dry. I'll do it to the other one. Then we'll go around and do it to the thruster pot on the other side of the backpack as well. And then we'll come up back and uh, clip off the excess sticking out the side there. All right, so then for the arms here, what I want to do is make a kind of like bar, sort of like a guard bar that'll kind of like bend and wrap around this shape a little bit. So I'm going to use some wire for this as well. Also, one millimeter wire there for this. Um, and yeah, this is just really uh, easy to manipulate. I've got a couple different gauges of this particular kind of wire, uh, but yeah, so let me see. It's a little bit hard, I don't know, maybe just because I don't know the correct verbiage for this, it's a little bit difficult to explain exactly what I want to do. Guard bar seems to make sense, sort of. It's easier to just maybe show you guys what I want to do. So let me see, where's my pencil? Over here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is drill a little hole here in the top there are two little holes like that and then the the bar is going to basically like come up out of the hole out of the hole there and then go down and then like cross over here and then back up and around there so it's going to be kind of a bar like going around around this bit there yeah so let's just try it and then i'll see so you can mark these hole make sure my hole markings here are straight first hang on just a moment then drill just quick one millimeter using one millimeter wire so one millimeter drill of course into there all right there we go so then wire I'm going to have to just kind of use these bits here I'm gonna be a little bit difficult maybe to do this on camera so bear with me here so I'm gonna give this a bend Something like that, and very likely I'm gonna have to redo this. Uh, it's just kind of my first attempt here, so we'll see how how this goes. Let's give that a bend there, and then a bend about here. I've got plenty of this wire too, so I'm not really wor too worried about messing it up at this point. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to redo this because the, my wire is too short. It's not gonna reach all the way, but it's okay. Just for the purposes of showing you guys what I'm trying to do anyway, there's the kind of the idea of how I want to do that, but I'm gonna have to redo that. So, take you out. Thank you very much. Let me try that again. 
Okay, there we go. So it's not perfect by any means, but that's why we do weathering, am I right? So <laughs> messed around with these as much as I could, tried to get them as straight as possible, and they're pretty close. Uh, so that's gonna be good enough, but I figure it's kind of weird to just have these only on the shoulders So I got to do a couple more other places on the body if I only had it there it would just maybe look a little bit out of place So other places where I'm going to do them is I'm gonna put one here down here on the side of the leg a similar one just kind of going out uh, Up here and just kind of crossing over this little vent here over the top of that little vent on both sides of the legs and on the backpack I'm going to put to one of these parts here temporarily back together to illustrate this so the backpack goes like this this would be the back side of the thruster and then you get like a vent in here so I'm going to put one just like uh, going out over the edge of the vent here a little bit like that as well um, yeah, so let me finish those up and then we'll work on the tubes because we're not going to be using those rubber tubes. So uh, let me finish this up. Oh, okie dokie. So there we go. Those are then added there onto the back of those thrusters and onto the sides of the legs there like that. Now, the last thing we need to work on basically here, oh, almost the last thing, is the tubes. So we're going to be replacing these. These guys, these rubber tubes, I'm not going to use these. We're going to use something different. In this case, we're going to use these wave A springs. So, just going to replace this with some spring parts. And simple enough, basically, just going to put them in there. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, these, I think what I'm going to do is uh, put a guide at the top just to plug that onto to glue and then I'll just cut it like to the right length so then later when I'm doing just like final assembly I can just feed that and I'm gonna paint this though it's not gonna be silver uh, they're just silver at the moment yeah so this is a two millimeter one that I'm gonna use for the legs and we also have some on the head the head is a little bit more slightly more complicated uh, not really all that much but uh, that's not the right one here we are over here this is a 1.5 we're gonna use with that 1.5 millimeter spring here and the 1.5 spring won't quite fit here into the back of the head where that needs to plug into there so I'm going to drill that out a little bit now I've got this 1.5 drill bit here and that does seem to sort of fit basically into that that seems about right I'll just take off the antenna here just in case I don't break that by accident uh, it seems about like it's already 1.5 so I'm drilling in there and that feels like it's not really taking anything out so it should fit but it's just not quite oh I guess there we go now it's fitting in there a little bit better but still not really well so what I'm gonna do is take the next upsize drill that I have here two millimeter and just drill a little tiny bit here on the edge just to widen the edge of that hole and that should fit in there a little bit better and um, so yeah that's fitting in there but it's just like it's not super solid so this one as well I think what I'm going to do is put a guide in there but before we do that I want to go back around to the front of the head quickly because we have these Vulcans there on the front of the head and I want to drill those out uh, just because it looks better so just got my small tiny little drill bits here seem to find the right size this looks about right maybe a little bit big you get a little bit smaller one and just go ahead and drill out those guys actually in doing so that actually just kind of worked out as an advantage because what I did is I just decided to just drill all the way straight through there because it goes straight through to the back here so as I said I wanted to put like a, a guide wire in there for the spring so if I just drill it all the way straight through there with the 0.7 wire uh, 0 0.7 drill and I happen to have some 0.7 wire as well actually so that will actually just can plug straight into the hole and you can see it's gonna come through the front there while I just put had to put some glue on that so later essentially I have my spring and wire and I can use the wire inside as the guide to stick up inside there and then I can form that in any way 
that I want now that the because the spring can't hold a shape on its own but I use the wire in there to hold the shape of that that I need to plug then into the backpack so that will work out just fine now basically the same thing for the legs uh, what I'm gonna do for this basically for the guide wires for these I want to just drill straight up through this and I'm gonna poke a hole out through the top of this part but that's fine really not too worried about that I could then like putty over it or fix it or something but as it's going to be it's up inside like way up in there up inside the skirt armor no one's ever going to see ever going to see the top of this thigh part so if it's got a couple little holes there at the top no one's ever gonna know so it's all good there we go again simple enough this one again as well later on going to just stick that up into there glue that in place for the guide and then I can slide the spring up onto that and that'll be for the tubes there at the back of the leg so uh, the last thing let's see actually I suppose that's pretty much it for all of the modifications that I wanted to make so I guess we'll just skip right to the my idea for the final pose for this so here is what I am planning on doing not having it just standing there as is sort of my typical pose uh, as of late but I wanted to have it look like he's like uh, landing so I never just make like a simple base and then have some crew I got uh, recently some 144 scale crew figures uh, that's just like the Bandai HD builders parts I us paint like a couple of crew members uh, on just like a kind of landing pad and have him just like this sort of pose coming down to land like that so I think that'll be pretty cool anyway so um, the other thing is just the, about the Gyarados. dogos so it's not something that I'm aiming to finish with these I'm gonna do those as a separate project uh, just a separate thing but I will be working on that uh, as for the weapons thank you a lot of you guys did chime in about the weapons on the last working project work in progress I should say uh, but so I have decided to go with the original uh, Gyaradoga weapons rather than the other ones and I wanted to do a sort of pose like this so they're gonna be mounted on a base together and have the axe wielding one sort of like out a little bit in front and the other one sort of firing the machine gun sort of like there in the back so like an action pose of the two of them uh, fighting a battle in space so it'll be sort of like that anyway if that makes sense so that should be pretty cool uh, it's just a separate thing so I'll be working on these uh, just sort of as a separate thing I'll focus on the DJ because I want to get the DJ finished uh, during Shar month so I'm gonna be focusing on that and then these guys uh, I'll work on maybe next month uh, I'll try to have those done by the end of next month for sure so that is it for this work in progress guys I'm gonna give him a bath get it all washed up and then I'll work on the painting and all of that, so we're gonna do a little bit of weathering on there and just some decals, and that's pretty much it. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.